there! In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this fantastic decorative candle holder from an old jar. Now I'm using an old pickle jar, but you could really use anything that you have lying around, maybe an old pasta sauce jar, or even a wine bottle. Now I'm going to spray mine with the DecoArt Americana Matte Sealer, but that's only to prevent the glare for this demo. That step is not necessary to do for this project. I know it can be difficult to get supplies right now, so I'm going to show this tutorial using homemade tools from stuff you probably already have lying around, like some pencils and a cotton swab. So what you do is you want to take all the cotton off of one end of the cotton swab, and on the other end you just dip it in a little bit of paint and kind of press down on the end and kind of make it a little flatter, and then just smear the paint down the shaft of the cotton swab there. And then on the other end I do put a little bit more paint just to kind of hold down any fuzzies. And then you're going to let that dry and that will become two different size tools. You could use a toothpick if you wanted to get smaller dots. And then I've got two different size pencil erasers that I'll be using. You do want to have a damp cloth to clean your tools off with. Today we're going to be using DecoArt Americana Gloss Enamels. They're great for glass painting, for dots. And starting off with True Red. Now I'm using a regular size pencil eraser and you do want to make sure that it's a brand new eraser, nice and flat with good crisp edges. You could use anything that you have lying around, don't restrict it to a pencil, just this is one example. And I'm just going to be placing a row of dots right along the bottom rim there. And I'm using the rim as my guide and it's going to keep my dots in a nice straight line. And you do want to hug your dots in as close as you can get them without touching. The next color is called bright orange and we're just going to be offsetting the previous row. So just place a dot right in between each of the dots from the previous row all the way around. And you know if your dots do touch it's really not a big deal at all. We can clean it up with a clean cotton swab, no big deal. You do want to keep your tool clean so make sure you keep your damp rag nearby. Clean it off in between each of your colors. The next color is called bright yellow. We're going to do the same process again and then we're just offsetting the previous row. The same tool. And you can do this however you want. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Just make it your own and have fun with it. This next color is called Calypso Blue followed up by True Blue. Just keep offsetting from the previous row. It kind of staggers the design and it makes a little bit of like a beehive effect. The next color I'm using is called lavender. The project is really starting to take shape here and you're really being able to see this design come to life. Now I'm going to go ahead with a color called vivid violet and that will wrap up the color scheme here. Um, I'm going to show you doing every other dot for a second. That can help you with your spacing. If you're having a problem with spacing, try to just skip a dot and that might help you even it up. Now I did let the project dry just so that I can handle it. It's a little bit tacky but it is dry. And I'm going to go back with red again. So we're going to start over with the same color scheme and we're going to do it all over again the same pattern and I'm using the cotton end of the cotton swab tool that we made so the dots are a little smaller and so there's a little bit of a gap in between and you can actually reuse the same cotton swab believe it or not you don't have to but I do just to show that you can and I'm going to use the stick end of the cotton swab to place small dots right in between each of the red dots because there's a little bit of a gap and I just thought well I'll fill it up a little bit. You don't have to do that if you don't want to or you could use a toothpick if you wanted even smaller dots. It's totally up to you. And just kind of dab the tool on the um, on the damp cloth and that way it doesn't destroy the cotton. Now again going back with the orange go in every other dot just to kind of help with spacing and then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze two dots in between each of those and do this again like however you want to do it. If you want to leave that step out completely do that. That's totally up to you. You know you could use holiday colors or fall colors or just you know your very favorite colors. I was just going with a semi rainbow effect here and I'm just going to repeat the color scheme 
with this size tool and then I'll repeat it again with the smaller end. You know acrylic paint dries very fast. I think this dried at least was, you know, I was able to handle it in about 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. And this particular paint is really perfect for glass and round objects because it doesn't run and it is able to be baked on and I will talk about that at the end of the video and give the instructions for that. Listen, this is not perfect and I want you to focus on the fact that things don't have to be perfect and they're still going to be beautiful. Like at the end of this you're not going to notice any uneven or oddly shaped dots. I mean, you're just going to see this overall beautiful project. So don't be hard on yourself and just kind of keep going and keep pushing forward. And by the end of it, you're going to love it. I guarantee it. I do also want to mention that you can still follow along with this tutorial. If you do have a tool set and you're wanting to use your proper tools, no big deal. I will list the tools that work for the, um, the tools that I'm using in this in this video's description below so look for that or if you are looking for a proper tool set or you're wanting to give the gift of dotting to someone that you know you can find tools in the dot art depot that is my e-commerce store and I will definitely put a link to that store in the comment section below I'll pin it to the top and also in the video's description Thank you so much to all of you who have purchased anything at all from the Dot Art Depot. I appreciate your support more than I could ever tell you. Thank you so much. You know, this channel is for you. So if you have any suggestions that you would like to see me cover in a future tutorial, leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you want to see. I have an ongoing list right now, but I always love to hear what you are interested in seeing, so definitely do leave me a comment. For the thicker rim there at the bottom, I'm going to jump up to the larger pencil, and I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's for smaller kids, I think it's easier to grip, so it's a little bit bigger and it leaves a little bit larger dots. You could probably sub it out for like a chapstick lid or something like that basically just going to try to fill in that space. So I'm going to use the stick end of the cotton swab. And I did want to mention too that you do want to find the cotton swabs with the paper stick and not the plastic stick because those just don't seem to work as well. Alright, so our dots have gone from large to smaller to smaller and now we're going to go a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and make dots right next to each other all the way around using that same color scheme again with just the stick end of the cotton swab. Just kind of squeeze them in and I don't go all the way to the top. You can, it's up to you. I just do a couple rows here of this. This particular paint is able to be baked on to become permanent with the jar. It is the DecoArt Gloss Enamel Paints and the instructions say to place it in a cool oven. You heat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You bake it for 30 minutes, and then you're going to let it cool down in the oven as well. Now, before baking it, you do want to let it air cure for four days. And also, as an alternative, if you don't want to bake it or you don't have a conventional oven to bake it in, you can just simply let it air cure for 21 days, and then it will become permanent with the jar that way as well. I thought a nice little added touch would be some cute little ribbon that you could hot glue to the top. I didn't hot glue it but I'm just kind of showing you an idea of how to top off the bottle. The thing is is I wouldn't use a candle in this just because of heat. I'm not sure how it would withstand. It probably would be okay but just because I don't know and I don't want to give you the wrong advice I would just use the little battery powered tea lights inside of it and I found this really cool one that changes colors and I found it also at the Dollar Tree. Love that place. Um, you could put some little rocks or some sand in the bottom and then I wanted to show you it changing colors in the dark. Super cool. And then I also found some just the regular, you know, not the color changing, just the regular one color um, battery powered votives and 
This one was sparkly gold, but it was really pretty too. So either way you go, I think you can't go wrong there. I love this idea. I hope you love this video. If you did love this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for all kinds of dot painting tutorials, anywhere from beginner all the way up to advanced. Enjoy painting, and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.